Welcome to Chicks with Kicks Melbourne Doncaster headquarters. Today we're going to have a look at um, Vashti Bunyan's song Diamond Days. So I'm going to play the song for you and then I am going to show you how to play it. So excuse my very weird sounding voice. This is a high song so it sits in my voice in a quite weird place. Anyway, here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so how do we play it? The best way to approach it is to learn the hammer-ons first, so the lines with the hammer-ons, and then add in the strums. So on, let's take the first hammer-on line. So a hammer-on is when you uh, pluck a strum, uh, pluck a string, sorry, and then hammer on with your finger, but you don't pluck it again. And in this song, it's from the open string to the second or third fret. It doesn't always work that way, though. Okay, sometimes we can do it like that. Okay. But for this, this song, it's open to second or open to third. So we have the hammer-on. Before the hammer-on, we start with a uh, finger on the second fret. We just pluck that. And then we follow with the hammer-on. And then we finish up with an open string. So it sounds like this. So the hammer-on is sandwiched between two notes. Okay, there's a note on either side of the hammer-on. On the G string, it's the second fret, which is an A hammer-on, and back to the open G. And then we do the same thing, but this time we move our thumb up to the uh, D string, and we do exactly the same thing on the D string. So we start with... Um, a note on the second fret, which is E, hammer on, open D. Now we're going to shift up to the A string, but this time we're not going to be on the second fret, we're going to be on the third fret. So we're hammering on to the third fret. Um, and before it follows the pattern, there's two uh, notes either side of the hammer on. So the first note is the third fret of the A string, which is C. So C, hammer on, and then the open string A. And then we finish off this whole sequence just by playing a G, which is on the third fret. So it's a G note, not a G chord, third fret of the, a, the E string. And then to get back into the, um, the sequence again, we want two little notes on the second fret of the D string, which is E. And then the open G. Okay, so it's. And then we're back to the beginning. Okay. Now, just to make it a bit more interesting, there's a strum between the first note of the sequence and the hammer on. 
and it follows the chord so it follows the F major 7 and the C as the two chords that we're playing alternately. Okay so um, what we're going to do is we're going to plant our first finger on the first fret of the B string. All right and we're going to play the first note of our sequence and then we're going to strum the two bottom notes and then follow with the hammer on. We're going to do the same thing, but this time our hammer-on sequence is going to be on the D string. So first note is E or second on the D string, and then we strum down this time the three notes. So we've still got our, our finger planted there on the first fret. By doing that, you can just set and forget. And then we go to still planting our finger here because um, that is the common finger between F major 7 and C all right and then we're at this now what we're going to do here is we're going to add a finger onto the second fret of the G string when we play our chords so we play our first note on the A string and then we strum these two these three notes so two one zero there's our chord so this is a bottom three three um, notes of F major 7 and then our hammer on and then our three and again we've got a little strum just we've taken off our second finger and we're just still planting that first finger on the first fret of the second string okay so all together the whole song all we have to do is go round and round and round for the whole song um, so it's a sweet little part um, enjoy it have fun with it and I'll see you at your next lesson bye